Hi everyone, it's Sandy and today I'm doing my July book haul. July was actually my birthday month so I did buy more books than I normally would and I also received some gifts from some of my friends here on booktube. The first book I bought in the month of July was The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater and I actually found this at Half Price Books for one dollar. Yeah, one dollar. It was kind of strange also because I saw this book on the shelves and when I looked at the price it was five dollars but while I was at the checkout line there was a stack of these books and on top of it it was labeled one dollar I was like okay I have to get it I have actually read this book before and I really did enjoy it but I did not own a copy and this was just a perfect opportunity to purchase this book the next book I bought was actually a book on Kindle and that was branded by Abby Kettner and Missy Kalisicki again I'm not sure how to pronounce the last author's last name I bought this book because of Bookbusters, which is a book club that I'm part of, and we did a live show on this. If you want more info about Bookbusters, I will leave a link to the Goodreads group in the description below. And Branded takes place in a world where if you commit one of these seven deadly sins, you'll get branded for it and get sent to the hole. And the main character, Lexi, gets branded for lust. Next, I bought Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vohan and Fiona Staples, and I bought this for Booktubeathon. This was my book with pictures. Next, I bought Four by Veronica Roth. This is a collection of short stories in Four's perspective. I bought this on Barnes & Noble, signed, so it's signed by Veronica Roth. There you go. Next, I got The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. And I want to give a quick shout out to Grace from Loving Dumb Books because she got this book signed for me. She went to the book signing in Chicago. So here it says Sandy, Be Fearless, and then Lindsay Cummings. I don't know much about this book because I haven't read it yet, but I do know that in this world, the murder rate is higher than the birth rate, and I think that's a really awesome concept. There was one day where Half Price Books was having a 50% off sale, and I went and I got two books. The first book that I got was we Were Liars by E. Lockhart, and I'm not going to explain what this book is about because I do feel that you should go into this book without knowing anything about it, so I'm just going to leave you off with that. And the next book I bought was Landline by Rainbow Rowell. This book is really tall for a Rainbow Rowell book. I think it's because it's an adult book, so it's taller than like Fangirl and Eleanor and Park. And I just love the colors. I mean, there's yellow, this kind of darkish grayish type of thing and then there's pink like I love the spine it's so cool I know that in this book the main character is having marriage problems and one day she like goes on the phone and she was able to talk to her husband in the past so technically she's in a future but she's speaking to her husband who is living in the past so that's really awesome and I love Rainbow Rowell the next three books are books that I received for my birthday and I received these books from Jenny aka OY the B word Allison from Book Gossiper, and Ella from Scandalous Books. The book that I received from Jenny is also a Rainbow Rowell book, and that is Attachments. I've heard so many great things about this book. In this book, the main character, Lincoln, is kind of the internet security guy, so he monitors all the emails and makes sure everyone in the workplace is emailing what they're supposed to and not like doing personal stuff on their emails and then he finds emails from these two workers who are just chit-chatting about their life and he finds it really entertaining and he falls in love with one of them and i'm really excited to read this thank you so much jenny for buying this book for me the next book that i received for my birthday is maybe someday by colleen hoover and i loved hopeless so much and I've been wanting to read Maybe Someday for such a long time. I've heard so many great things about Maybe Someday and I'm pretty sure I would really like this book. And the last book that I received for my birthday is Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. Oh my gosh, I had this book on my wish list for such a long time also. I have been wanting to read this book for a really long time just like Maybe Someday and I'm so glad that I finally have it. These are the three books that I received for my birthday from my booktube friends. Thank you Jenny, Allison, and Ella for these books. I love you guys. You guys are amazing and I'm so glad that I've met you through booktube because you guys are honestly some of my very close booktube friends and I just love you guys. So thank you. Next I have some packages to open so this is the first package and I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. So I'm gonna just some scissors. Yeah. There you 
go. Okay, so the book is Silver Shadows by Rochelle Mead. This is the fifth book to the Bloodline series. And I love the Bloodline series so much. Sydney and Adrian are like one of my OTP fictional characters. And I'm so excited for this book because the last book ended in a big cliffhanger. So I can't wait to read it. This is the next package. This book is Free to Fall by Lauren Miller. And if you didn't know, this is a book for bookbusters. This bookbusters book of the month is sponsored by HarperCollins and Lauren Miller's. I'm going to read the back of this book to give you guys a brief synopsis of what this book is going to be about. So here it says, what if there was an app that told you who to date, what song to listen to, what coffee to order, what to do with your life. An app that was guaranteed to ensure your complete and utter happiness. What if you never had to fail or make a wrong choice? What if you never had to fall? I think that was a very interesting and awesome concept and I can't wait to read this book. This is the very last package in this book haul, so let's open it. It's really hard opening a package while holding it like this, but I'm just gonna put it on my knee. Oh god, okay, I'm just terrible at this. Okay, so I finally got it cut open, hopefully, and I'm now going to open this. The first book in here is The Winner's Curse by Marie Rakowski. This book also has deckled edges, and I personally really like deckled edges because I think it's really cool. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, but I'm not so sure what it exactly it's about. But I do know it's about this girl named Kestrel, and I... I think she falls in love with a slave. Next, I have The Treatment by Suzanne Young. This is the second book in the program duology. I really don't like this cover because it doesn't really match this one. In this book, they have like a picture on the actual book and it's a picture of a pill. And I like this cover so much more than this one. They originally had the pill cover on this book, but then they decided to change it, which I don't understand because I don't like this picture of a girl. This cover just looks so much more interesting, like even as simple as it looks, it just looks really nice, especially compared to this cover, so I'm not a big fan of the cover. This book takes place in a world where suicide is an epidemic. I did enjoy the first book and I have been wanting to read this for a while now so I finally purchased it. And the last book that I have is Rebel by Amy Tintero. This is also a part of a duology. This is the second book in Reboot. I haven't read it yet but I'm glad that I finally purchased it so I can finally finish this duology. Basically in this world when you die you can come back to life but the timing between when you actually die and when you come back to life varies as to how human you are when you come back so the longer you've been dead the less human you are i forgot what the proper term is but i'm just gonna use the term human and i really love these covers i love how simple it is and i just love the color scheme that is all for my july book haul i did get a lot of books this month but i think it was excusable since some of them are gifts and then it was my birthday so i did have more money than usual to spend on books i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have read any of these books let me know what you thought about them because I want to know if they were good or not. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Bye!